Oh, welcome to the channel. This is a Ford Transit key. If you know, it's a, it's a sealed unit and the battery soldered in. This is what it looks like inside. So I'm going to take the soldered battery out and I'm going to try and make something to put a changeable battery in there. Ford wanted over £300 for a new key. Somebody did say that you can put this inside the black casing, but you can't. Get one of these blue ones off eBay for about £3. As you can see, I've unsoldered the battery now. So I'm just going to take these little tabs off and solder some little springs to the end so it's a nice tight fit when it all goes back together. Right, here's the old battery with the tabs pulled off. I'm just going to straighten the tabs out so they go back nicely and get the little springs and just cut them down a little bit and solder them on the ends. There you go, I've just put a little dab of solder, cut the spring down, just so it makes the connection properly and um, hopefully it's going to work. I'm just going to do the other one, then we'll give it a little test. Right, here's the other one all done. So the battery is going to go between them, hopefully, and uh, hopefully it works. We shall see in a minute. Right, as you can see, it does seem quite high in there with the battery, so I'm going to cut the springs down a little bit more and uh, put the top on, and then give it a little test. Right, I've just cut them down. I'm going to put the lid on. And here we go, let's give it a little test now. It's all back together, the key. Just walk to the van, and hopefully, I can click the button. It's gonna work from here. Come on, yep, you see the lights flashing. There you go, it's cost me three quid, just for the blue casing, instead of 300 odd pound from Ford. Right, I hope this has helped some of you out. See you soon.